Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we are continuing our Let's Play of Carrier. This is actually a second take of the episode we did, and it's ironic because there was a kind of a really long gap in our recording of Carrier. Not necessarily a long gap in your viewing of Carrier, but... So it's thing, been a while. It's been a while. Things have happened here at Beagle Rampin' Productions on the technical end. I got a new computer. You notice I uploaded the video retiring my MacBook, and really the only thing you've been seeing from me are some Carrier episodes that we recorded kind of back in spring there a little bit. But, yeah, I got a new computer. I went the Linux route then. It's really nice. I'm really enjoying it. But that whole thing is going to be a story for another video, so make sure you click subscribe there. But, um, yeah, we wanted to do some more Carrier, so we started recording, as you do when you want to record yep. a um, thing. And uh, we did a lot of aimless wandering and didn't really have any good banter Basically, the episode that we are scrapping really, really sucked, but we did see... Hey, speak that for yourself. I was being witty. She was being witty, um, yeah, and there was a lot of me just sort of standing there looking stupid, but, um... Just like Jack Ingalls. Just like Jack Ingalls here, but we did see this really cool-looking mermaid human bad guy. I mean, so, yikes, that's kind of a thing there, but, um... We may even run into him organically, but Squeak Dude was reading through the verbum walkthrough us. I think I actually need to go ahead and grab a energy drink because she was saying some things. She kept reading this and oh my god, it was absolutely bonkers. So, um, yeah, what we'll do is go through here. And she gave instructions on what to do. Those instructions, man, kind of went on and on. But hold one block C is where we need to be, right, Squeak Do? Yeah. So basically, I just go down this hall and make a right. I think so. Yeah, that sounds right. If you see a room full of puppy mushrooms, you're going good. Yep. So you want to avoid the crap they're going to poop out at you. That makes sense. Oh, our neighbors are also partying tonight. Um, yeah, so that is happening. Which is weird because it's a Tuesday. It is. We record Carrier on Tuesday nights. Oh, this is that stupid room. Yeah, it said something about traversing a about wall. About the stupid room. Yeah, it said the stupid room. Is that what it said? Please tell no. me those were the exact words. No, the walkthroughs rarely ever make quality judgments on a room. Yeah. I mean, I would say, you know, the stupid room. You know, that really stupid room that no one likes. With the gun you can't pick up. I know, that's just teasing, man. Object. He took some serious hits before dying. Special Forces 2nd Division soldier. Okay, where was this object, though? danger. Where is this danger? Oh yeah, I think there is another one by the stairs. Well, I see, like, object. I want an object. Let's see. the thing dead ahead from me is an object? 
This little guy? He can't be the object. He's That's the... a monster. Oh, God. Yeah, him. Okay. He's a danger. Yep. A broken machine gun. Well, you don't say object for a broken thing. Remember in Dungeons and Dragons how they have the monsters called the broken ones? Aww. Those things are cool. Okay. So, like, I'm in hold one, block C. And this is the winch room. This is the winch room? Uh-huh. Okay, it says, from the winch room, cut through, hold one, block C, and enter the hall. So I think you're going backwards if you're in the wind room. Okay. And I think the guys regenerate. No! That's not good news. Oh, yeah, I can see them jiggling and squiggling. When uh, crazy? You have got to be kidding me. Wouldn't it be crazy if there was a room that was just all shamblers? Oh, my God, you're crazy. You just open it and shambler everywhere. Have you guys been missing Shambler? Yes. No, no one misses Shambler. We need more Shambler in our lives. Said no one ever. <laughs> okay. So, they... I did get a hit, but it was a very tiny hit. Sorry for your luck, buddy. That's what they call fast food! Ha <laughs> ha jokes. That'd be funnier if I didn't do that joke every time we go to a horror event. <laughs> okay, head left. Head left. And follow the corridor back to the door with the infrared sensors. That would be this one. Okay. Go through the door. With the infrared sensors? Um, I imagine. You know it doesn't specify. It doesn't specify. But I mean, that one door will just lead you back to the save room, so I can't imagine that's where they want you to go. So yeah, probably the one with the sensors. Slow and steady wins the race there, Jack. Okay. Look at him shuffling on there. He's shambling. He is shambling. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> Animation is hard, dude. It's kind of a motto of this game, actually. Oh yeah, isn't that what episode one was called, or one of the yes. first ones? Yes, yes, I did name it um, something like "Animation is Hard." If you guys have been sticking through this series that long, God bless you. Shamble, shamble. Nope. Shamble, 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 shamble. Maybe a little bit more here? Shamble, shamble. Maybe a little more here. Shamble, shamble. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm telling you the right direction. Oh my god, I'd be so mad. <laughs> shamble, shamble. Gamer rage. Shamble, shamble. There we go. Follow the corridor as it curves. Climb the ladder on the left. And then traverse the catwalk left of the ladder. The ladder on the left, huh? Oh, you better hope there's a ladder coming up. I don't see a ladder. It says follow it. B 
the oh this ladder. Here we go. There we go. Whew. Squeak Doo gets to live another day. <laughs> And then traverse the catwalk left of the ladder. Left of the ladder. This direction. Or is that right of the ladder? I don't know. Turn left and walk through the door. Turn left and walk through the door. Yep. We're so unsure. The hall is overgrown with mushrooms. Mushrooms. Hey, mushrooms! Oh, God. So you're going to want to avoid that um, gas they're pooping out at you. But you said a pistol can take care of it, yeah? Um, your big gun. Or a bomb. Can I just run? Your, your big gun. Yeah, you had it there a second ago. Can I just run? I mean, if you're brave, I guess. We'll see how fast you are, Jack Ingles. Oh! Not fast enough. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our, our lector of the Verbum walk through us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't really do anything to me, so it's Continue cool. Continue down the hall to your right, avoiding gas clouds. Go through the doorway at the end of the hall. I mean, there was no question. I was going through that door, dude. Continue through the next hallway. Um, as the hall turns right, inspect the body on the floor and get his machine gun ammo. Because he doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> Does the walkthrough really say that, or is that your clever take on it? I'm spicing up the walkthrough a little. The verbal walkthrough is... Mm-hmm. That's the sugar we like to see. Keep walking to the right along the hall and go through the doorway to hold two and have a gun ready. Okay, I have a gun ready. We've got some invisible boys coming at you. No. Oh yeah. Okay. It said go through the doorway, so they probably won't come till I you go through that door. I think this is the door. Okay. And this should be hold two. Okay, guys. So we're gonna have some monsters. Oh, are the camos? Yeah, I think the camos are something else. Oh, my bad. It just made sense that the camos... Camos would be invisible? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, took a little bit of damage, but we're surviving. There's a toolbox. Two grenades obtained. Yes, because we have the grenade launcher. I don't know, though. Like, um... Usually when a video game, like, tells you... There's a you, crane console, but it doesn't have power, so you'll probably need to remember that for later. Control panel for the crane. It looks like it would work if the power was on. Yep. So you're going to want to go back into the hallway that you were just in. Dude. I want to be in this hallway. And when you get to the area that has the most puffers, you want to con um, consult your map because there's a hidden door there that you blow up with the T7 bomb. Okay. I wish this game would let you, like, save anywhere. That would be cool. 
Oh yeah, look at that stuff blow. Was that a door? Sure, why not? Why wouldn't it be a door? Oh. No, that wasn't a door at all, actually. Wait a minute. There were doors here, but, like, I'm above. Dude. Hmm. Dude. I guess keep looking for an area that's, like, really overgrown with them. Like this one. I will not blow myself up again. You guys wouldn't believe how frequently I do that, actually. Dude, can't he just pee on them like he did those other ones? You guys remember that from whatever <laughs> episode that was? And it doesn't really matter if I, like, go th already gone. I wonder if he's talking about the person or the machine gun ammo. Oh, dude, he'd be a sociopath if he was talking about the ammo. So, yeah, he was probably talking about the ammo. <laughs> well, I like that I blew those things up anyway, because those were uh, kind of um, irking me. Oh, I see. Yeah, the puffers, like the one that are puffing at you. <gasps> oh, oh no. Ouch. <laughs> oh, now he's got the tummy hurt. Ugh. How bad is it? Oh, shoot. I love how we're stepping around saying curse words, but like this is an This is an M rated game. game, like Like we can let them see the mutilated corpses, but the if, uh, swear words. Yeah, the swear words. No. Yeah, no. This is a family nightmare. <laughs> Two level two energy drinks. Yay! Okay, so like, I should be... Of course I'm not facing it. I think it said an area that's densely populated with puffers. Maybe this area. Ouch! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Malfoy. Dude, I mean, I ain't gonna go in, like, hardcore here, like... I think that's what it wants. Yes! Yay! And the neighbors agree to... Oh, look at them. Okay, guys, um... I should actually use one of these level 2 drinks. And then I'm going to be really conservative from now on. Um, should I have a gun ready? Let's see. What horrors will you face in here? You know what, I'll just have my big gun ready and we'll go from there. There's an orchid. An orchid? Dude, this, this, oh, it's pitch and, black. Um, there's actually a glitch in this game where <laughs> you should see the face he's making at me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> These are the times you like want the camera. <laughs> um, no, it's not game breaking, but apparently the orchid can attack you through the wall, but you can't reciprocate. So you've got okay, so that's it. that's the usual uh, nonsense this game has been offering. Okay, Lure it cool. out of hiding, blast it, and follow the corridor to the left. Okay. Problem is, I can't see a damn thing in here. 
Follow the corridor to the left. Yeah, I can't see anything. Do I go down the ladder? It don't matter. Yes, descend the ladder. It don't matter, though, because I cannot see anything. Why is it so dark? Probably has something to do with the, the power. power. And stupid Shambler. This is all Shambler's fault. You always are so quick to blame Shambler. Mm-hmm. He's just over here doing his best. Oh, yeah, I know. I've, I unilaterally blame Shambler. Oh, God. This is pro... And guys, like, I um, went nuclear on um, lighting the television. So, like, this isn't the recommended brightness settings. We're way brighter than we should be. I love how when you play horror games now, it's like... Turn your game so you can just barely see the three oh, lines. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. We slam that brightness all the way up. Those <laughs> lines are like freaking, it's freaking Hollywood with those things, man. And I'm like, but game, what if it gets too dark and scary? Remember, Orchid can attack you through the wall, but you can't attack him. You also can't see him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Okay. So we descended the ladder, and uh, I think there seems to have been two orchids. I see a door dead ahead. Um, shall I go through it? Yes. That's really the only thing to do. I hope you like muff shrimps. Uh, no. Um, I think we um, established that I don't. Actually, mushrooms are one of my actual, honest to god, favorite foods. Carno snail. Carno snail. This is Carno snail. We have been expecting Carno snail. You're gonna see three of them. Pinpoint them with the visor. Are they invisible? Mmm. Well, avoid those gas clouds. Or you could just blow it up. No. Did you hear him scream? He's screaming because he's so happy. Oh, that didn't really uh, do anything to him. The R Buster. So, okay, so the walkthrough called that weapon R Bus uh, a thing, and. Certain things happened um, in the middle of this whole recording process, and it's. I don't think it's appropriate at this time to maybe mention what the actual name of the weapon is. Y'all can Google that if you know. Yeah. The R Buster. We'll I, refer to it as the R Buster. I always just call it the Big Gun. The Big Gun, yeah. Big Gun, R Buster. Yeah, if y'all are confused as to what we're talking about, y'all can uh, go ahead and Google that one. <laughs> Although there's not a lot of information on Google about this game. But it's funny, you know, you do a Google search for this and, like, our videos don't pop up. I feel like this is a thing that would also be really hard to Google. Carrier Dreamcast. Okay. Because if you just type carrier, you'd probably get a bunch get of stuff like about an COVID. Actual, or like an actual aircraft carrier. Oh my god, did you kill yourself? No. No, but we are close. Uh, I am using up all of our resources. Jessifer is going to starve. Yeah, well, you you guys are not going to see any almost you will see almost nothing from Jessifer. We'll see how Linux does with um live streaming. I might mess around and get into the whole live streaming game. Oh, this is is this little guy Carno oh, Snail? Oh my gosh. But Carno Snail's invisible. He's a baby. He kind of is a baby. Do we have to hurt him? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, apparently his psychic fields are going to make it hard for you to progress. See, with live streaming, it's like, 
Well, what if your audience, like, wants to be there but can't, you know? We've never done too much live. Or anything live. Yeah, because I'm kind of... I'm kind of worried, like, it would be damnable pathetic <laughs> if, like, we're... I'm saying, all right, everyone, join Beagle Rampant for the live stream, and freaking no one shows up. Well, you know, we could do some recon, like... How many of you guys watching would be interested in any kind of live stream of a Jessifer situation? And if so, what times are best for you? Yeah, but then time zones, like... Yeah, you would also have to put what time zone you're in when you say that. I'm in Eastern time zone. Yep. You, which, um, uh, you know, makes me kind of salty. I don't think we should be in Eastern time zone. I think we should be in Central time zone. But no one asked my opinion about Why it. Why do you want to be in Central time zone? Because we would get an earlier sunrise. But since we're in Eastern time zone, we're in the same time zone in New as New York. So a lot of stuff is announced, like, the way... You, you know, like it's announced for a lot. A lot of them say, though, like 10 Eastern, 9 Central. Because I don't want to have to figure out what other time zones are. I know Pacific is three hours, Mountain Time is two hours, and Central is one. Yeah, like there's Eastern, Pacific, and the other two. <laughs> That's one and way. if you're in the other two, I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> Okay, so I'm hearing this thing. Five. It says something about five. Oh, God. I went down. Yeah. You're going to go to a safe station. Oh, really? Oh, sexy. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't like... We're going to meet someone! Is it a monster? No, it's someone capable of speech. Okay, guys, I only have two healers now, so I have got to... No more blowing myself up. No more not fighting the guys good. I'm going to, like... We're going to do this game. We're going to finish Carrier if it is the last thing I do, and it may really be the last thing I do. Maybe we'll finish Jessup for no... No, we're not... We can't... It, I think it would be impossible for us I to mean, finish Jessup. Is Jessup is even worth it? Like, I don't know. Is her gameplay different? Does she have different story beats? Probably not, because... Because, like, she's in the same area, so she would have, like, the same rooms and... Right. Although, you know, I gotta say, like, uh, you know, we're doing now all the B scenarios in uh, Resident Evil 2. I feel like we played a different, another game, actually, in between the A scenarios and the B scenarios. What was the game we played on Thursday I, nights? Thursday night is, like, is modern night. survival horror. Tuesday night is retro night and um, recording night yeah. um, sometimes. But um, I think we started Sinking City, but then we're like, you know... Yeah, Sinking City. So um, uh, Raggy got us um, this game for the PlayStation 4 um, based off of HP Lovecraft. And I have not heard anybody talking about this. Yeah, uh, no, but, I really um, haven't. And it's a pretty good game. I mean, well, yeah, it has, you know, it has its problems. The but disclaimer that you have to put with anything yeah. Lovecraft. Uh, yeah, no, of course, yeah. But, yeah, uh, too bad that meme online can't be true. Of Hatsune Miku just wrote all the problematic things you love. <laughs> I mean, Hatsune Miku wrote Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good game. But anyway, ain't it weird that we're talking about all of these games that we're playing and like. We ain't showing y'all none of them. Well, you know, if you have a desire to see it, yeah, let us know in the comments. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, no, no one interacts, so I just think nobody cares. But Otherwise, I guess that, it's but dealer's I, choice. Yeah, 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 I know, right? It's like. But um, we might have some Resident Evil uh, related spookiness coming yeah, for the spooky hit, season. Hit subscribe to see that fiasco. And <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Anyway, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rabbit Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. Thank you so much for watching. You know you're the best YouTuber fans of anyone in the entire world. Bye! Bye.